This demo will showcase our Salesforce and SAP account aggregation template. The aggregation pattern is the act of getting data from multiple systems and inserting into one. Aggregation is useful when building APIs that get data from multiple systems, creating reports or dashboards across multiple systems, preparing data for compliance or auditing purposes, and many more. In this video, I will show you an example of a company that utilizes this template to aggregate data from Salesforce and SAP and to email a CSV report of that data as an attachment. We will extract only data we care about. In this example, it would be name, billing street, and ID. Right now, let's see how it all works. To merge two different object sets into a single list, we will transform SAP customers into Salesforce accounts. Here, we can see that we have some accounts in Salesforce, some customers in SAP, and some in both, Salesforce and SAP. Now, let's start the aggregation process. This template is triggered via an API call, so it can be used manually or programmatically. All we need to do to make it run is to send a request to a configured HTTP endpoint. And you can see how quickly we will receive a message that the report has been sent to the configured email account. As you can see, we already received an email. And if we go ahead and open it, we will find a CSV attachment. Let's take a look at the report. Here, we can see that the data from Salesforce and SAP has been aggregated in one place. And here are the accounts in Salesforce, the customers in SAP, and the accounts and customers in both systems. Now, let's move from the user experience to AnyPoint Studio, our graphical design environment for the AnyPoint platform, and see what's powering this integration. Here, we see our template, which leverages best practices for integration with Salesforce and SAP, and makes this integration possible in minutes. This template's already been downloaded from our library, where all of our templates can be found. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see that this integration is triggered via an API call. And in the business logic file, we can see the main flow that initiates a series of subflows. The first subflow uses Salesforce and SAP connectors to gather data from two different systems. And in case of SAP, convert that response to match with the Salesforce data structure. Then, the collected data is aggregated and merged into a single list. In the last flow, this data is converted to a CSV format using Data Mapper. We can also modify this subflow to return JSON or another API-friendly structure, or modify it to a different mapping and insert it into a third system. Once the data is in a CSV format, we attach the report and send it as an email. Now that we've seen what's powering this integration, let's take a look at what we need to do to make it run. All we have to do to get the template running out of the box is to populate the properties file with Salesforce, SAP, and email credentials. From here, we can customize and extend this template to more specifically meet our needs. Today, we've shown you our Salesforce and SAP account aggregation template and aggregated accounts from two different systems. To find out more about the template, follow the View Documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.